think Australia is the first to blink. Will we see more of that given the data that's coming in? That plays into the broader story this morning of peak yields, peak dollar, peak Fed, peak volatility. <coughs> Take your pick, Tom. We're doing that again. It's difficult to see real yields just continuing to head to the moon at a time when all your inflation lead indicators are rolling over, where recession risks are spiking. There are these sort of powder kegs of financial accelerators that have been left behind by the period of low yields in the 2010s. The more volatile the 10-year Treasury is, the more reliable it is. Yields are not meant to be static. How much have we really priced in the potential weakness? What that does to rearrange the rest of markets that have been <clears throat> financed on 0% rates? This is the unknown. Are we going to have more central banks blink? We are not where we were in 2007, 2008. Europe is not where it was in 2011, 2012. There are so many tools at their disposal. They can handle this and they will be on the other side of financial stability.